to get rid of that too. I arrived at the beginning of my life, at the moment of the Western history, of the history of Western thought, where all the available possibilities, like in a table, were dead ends and had to be, to be got rid of. When I came here, it was, I think, against these five temptations. And it's very, it's sometimes useful to ask yourself, to wonder against what you did what you did. What you tried to avoid or to escape when you embrace a certain choice. Then, what did I do? And how did all these negativities, all these refusals, turned out in myself, but it will soon appear that what happened in myself happened in reality in the whole uh, in is, uh, mom philosophical moment of the time and uh, the, the rolling next years. Two things appeared to me, not clearly in a confused way at the beginning. And sometimes again, you, you know things which you don't really know. You, you are moved by motives of which you are not aware, but nevertheless, they move you. First of all, I, re I remembered, I recalled in myself the real philosophical tradition which was like a viv vivid fountain which my generation had mis in a big mistake uh, took aside tradition of Us the German philosopher Husserl the phenomenology Husserl German philosophy uh, is embodied by two great names Heidegger and Husserl you know that and we, all the times, the structuralist period, Derrida, uh, Husser, uh, Heide, uh, um, Althusser in a way, Michel Foucault, all of them were taking the Heideggerian path. And probably a little voice in myself wondered, but what about Husserl? Husserl means what? It meant a sort of oxymoron apparent oxymoron, a living paradox. The pure thought, the logic, the a quasi a nearly mathematical conception of the thought, married with, combined with, a, a concern with what a great Husserlian has called the big anger of the things, the encounter of the thi with the things, with the real things, the idea that a man does not go to the things, but that the things go to the man, come to his face like a savage beast, like the, there is a savagery of the things, of the events which come to your throat and the idea at the same time that the climax of the thought is the quasi-mathematical development of ideas. These two contradictory positions was, was Husserl. And first thing, I wondered probably, what about returning really to Husserl? Number two, I remember that I was a Jew. I was not a Jew, I, I was not educated as a Jew. I was not, and I still am not a religious, a religious Jew at all. I'm not a believer, I'm not a worshipper. But I, rem I, I rediscovered, even if I did not know it clearly, 
a conception of history which comes from these books, the books of uh, the Jewish thought, in particular Emmanuel Levinas, you know the name, Levinas. And the deepest idea of this tradition was that history was an unterminable process. That history was um, a